Hi, Don here, the German printing nerd. <laughs> so today, let's talk about the one how D9. And, oh my god, <coughs> been up the whole night. Now we have almost 11.30 in the morning and As you can see, the D9 is still printing. But uh, anyway, let's just talk about this little boy a little bit. <coughs> As you know, the D9 has touch display compared to the CR10. And 40 by 40 frame. This thing is rock solid. Uh, the wheels underneath, yeah, okay. A little bit of improvement could be made there. Maybe. Time will tell. Because uh, they are. Uh, T wheels for the T frame here and not uh, V but uh, yeah like I said who knows maybe they're better you also have an, an uh, isolate, isolated heated bed as I mentioned yesterday Uh, after I seen that uh, the bed was only at 40, I set it up to 50. It went up to 50 really fast. And it's staying at 50. The nozzle was set at 205. And it stays at 205 the whole time. The touch display is a little bit uh, to get used to because, um, well, let's just say when you um, start up, uh, let me see if I can zoom in on a little bit. I hope this will work. Eh, uh, might work, I'm not sure. You have print, you have utilities, level, and you have settings. Uh, with the level, of course, you have uh, auto and manual. And you always have a back button in case if you touch something wrong. Uh, by the settings, you have your PID settings, your motor settings, and factory reset. That means if you have done anything wrong or you tried to make some tests or make some other settings and you're not sure and something goes wrong, you can always go back to factory reset and that will set everything back to, uh, to the point to where you receive the one how they're the very first time uh, with utilities you have your preheat functions for PLA and ABS and it'll show you down here the bed temperature and extruder temperature that it's running at right now Home, X, Y, and Z. Move functions, you can uh, move the X, the Z, the Y, 
the extruder motor in and out. You can also move uh, or you can home in all three of the axes separately. Uh, change filament, cool down, disable motors. The disable motor, um, well, I had to press it two or three times before it really registered and disabled the motors. I'm not sure, maybe, uh, maybe the touch pad is not uh, as sensitive as others, I'm not sure. But uh, in print, well, you have uh, your list. You also have here the status. When I press on status, then I can see all my information from the print that is running right now. As you can see, 70, uh, 97%. Well, thank God it's almost done. I started this yesterday at uh, about uh, 1400 and it's now 1130. That means that was nothing with a, a 13 hour print. That's more like a, a 21 hour print, 22 hour print. Oh my God. I don't know. But anyway, this is the last of those pieces that I needed. And in this display function, this is also the display function that will automatically show up when you start a print. And uh, during the time that it's printing, you always have the function settings down here in the middle. And you can set up your print speed, uh, uh, set, um, move up your print, your print speed or slow it down. Extruder temperature can be raised or lowered. Bed temperature can be raised or lowered. Fan speed uh, can be raised or lowered. And your flow rate can be raised or lowered. If you change anything here, you have to press the confirm button. Otherwise, it will not register that and change it. But, um, yeah, I am really impressed. And with this um, new flexi plate that I have on here, it is really working good. Only thing I did is I cleaned it with uh, um, this is a 99% uh, uh, isopropanol. And, um, well, everything's working good. But this printer, I must say, I am so happy so happy that one house sent it to me uh, I have to change the settings for the camera there I'm so happy that one house sent it to me first off I needed a larger printer and second I am happy that I have the one how and not the CR10 However, if the folks from Koreality uh, see this video and think, oh my god, uh, yeah, you can send me a CR10 and I will compare those two together. But I am sure that the one how will win at the end because this printer. Uh, well, let's just say there is no Creality or ANET or anything else that is built as solid as this uh, one how. 
Well, this is just a short introduction to the one how. Uh, time for me. Oh, not sure. Time for me to get a coffee, get a cup of co coffee, and wake up, and then see what else can be done. <laughs> anyway, until the next time, I do wish you all happy printing. Have a nice day. Until the next time, bye all.